Hey everyone, I want I just did the um, Linux command line cool stuff you can do with it, and I forgot to show you one really really awesome command. So and that one is called wget. Wget. Oh, I don't know why it's going to Time Warner Cable. Let's ignore that. Um, Google.com, and then wget for this. Wget lets you grab links, URLs, and other stuff off of web pages and automatically bring it down to you. So, for instance, let's go ahead and uh, I have I've been using my RTOS class for a lot of examples. So I'm going to go to that Google.com. Um, uh, real time operating systems. Um, UT uh, Spring two zero one five. Uh, I'll go to John, Dr. Valvano's page. Okay, so he's got a list of old exams here that are really, really useful for me, for instance, and they're all on this one web page. Well, if I go to this page source, you can see that all of these PDFs, if I can go down and find them, are somehow links on here that you can grab. Quiz Study Solutions PDF. Um, and suppose I want to actually grab one of those links. I, of course I can go and download it like this, but say I want to be able to download all of them. Well, you can write a script to go through parse this web page to grab all these PDFs, or let's see if WKit can do it. So I can come over here. Let's let's take this link, um, copy link location, um, and then let's go to command line. So right now, where am I? I am in my home folder. Let's CD over to documents. And if I look at here, I've got a readme.pdf. I'm going to make a directory for exams, for instance. CD over to exams, or quizzes, and then let's see what wget can do. So man, wget. The non-interactive network downloader. It will do awesome stuff for you. And it will also search um, star.pdf. I think it, all, it searches star.pdf. I, I want to say it does. So let, let me take a look real fast at what this link looks like. So here we notice that the link is all under this SP, uh, to, like it's all under this directory. Users, EC, Texas, Valvano, um, all of that. So if I go here and I just type wget and then insert, or shift insert for that thing, it'll automatically download this file. So I can go over to here. Um, Actually, just as a little trick, I believe this uses Nautilus. Uh, no, it doesn't use Nautilus. It uses something else. That Nautilus is the file system on Ubuntu. If you type Nautilus, it will open up a folder there. Um, so where did I save that? I saved that in Documents, Exams, and it downloaded index.html? What? No, it should not have done that. It should have done... Um, oh! I totally did not save the right link because I copied that up there real fast. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and do wget shift insert quiz1.pdf. So now if I go over here, you actually see the quiz1.pdf um, and I can open it. So that's all there. That's fine and dandy and all. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But what if I wanted to get all of the PDFs on that website? Oh, one. I wonder. Does this work? Star.pdf. Error 404 not found. Okay. Let's see if wget can get all of these commands. So wget download all PDFs. Ultit wget download guide. And let's search through here. Um, age for 31%. Download progress complete. Um, different store, specified download speed, incomplete downloads, that's not what we want. We want to increase the download multiple files to using wget i, cat and then download file list. Okay, so that'll give you, you basically can type in a list of all the ones that you want. And, oh come on, I saw this not too long ago. I've done this. I have done this. Download only certain file types using wget dash r dash a. Dash r is going to say PDF, and then dash a is going to be the file types that you want. So, what we can do over here, since star.pdf doesn't work, 
I give it the base URL, I come over here, and I type um, dash R for recursive, dash A, and then dot PDF. And then that will go ahead. And if I look at this, users.ece, Valvano, uh, it's going to look for absolutely everything that he's got and all of his PDFs in that entire um, set of folders. So this is taking the entire website. I don't actually want to do that. So that's how you get the entire website. Suppose I don't want to do that. I just want to get the that one set of PDFs. Then I believe all I have to do is get rid of this dash R. Start up PDF and no, never mind. I lied. You have to give it the index and it'll go through all of the the page there and find all their PDFs. But still, a lot of professors put their uh, class notes on there for a specific class and then you can get. Um, all of their documents in one go and then there's some other tricks but the main trick there and the main takeaway is you can grab a bunch of files at once you can write scripts to do it um, in your bash shell and then if when in doubt google it um, see if you can do it and someone will probably tell you yes or no okay so that's all I wanted to say in this video